Welcome everybody to this video. Um, yes, I'm still wearing the same stuff if you watched the other video about the Mercurials because this is all done in the same day because um, I got them both at the same time. If you didn't know, both of the both the Mercurial and this boot, the Phantom Vision 2, um, came out January 23rd um, and I just got them in today. So that's why we're doing the unboxing. And I'm gonna take a look at these for the first time in person. So let's get right to it. This box, if you watch my Mercurial um, um, unboxing, the tape was done and open. So this one's sealed up pretty well. All right. Now I've, I've done. I watched other reviews on this and I've heard some good things on it. Um, hopefully they improve from it because I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a huge fan of the um, Phantom Vision uh, and I was surprised that they were getting rid of um, the the Venom and keeping this one honestly um, because I just felt the Venom was just a little bit better boot all right so we're opening it and this is the laser crimson metallic silver colorway size 10 and a half retail price 275 that's another thing I think that's a little expensive now remember, I don't get my um, shoes, boots for full price. There's no way I would do that. Um, just because once I've gotten a discount, I just got used to it. So it's kind of hard to, you know, want to pay full price. Um, but right away, open it. And again, I keep saying this for all their, their boots. They look red in pictures, but they are not red. I think this camera might be a little bit better to, to the color, but they're not red at all. It's more like a pink. And those who are picky about their boots, look it. This is one thing. Can you pick that smudge up? See, I don't, I don't know if that's a dirt or what, but that, that will bother me. I know I'm going to play in them and get them dirty, but that bothers me. So let's pull out the other one. I'm go I am going to compare them to... Um, the first generation or, or, or first one. So right now what I can tell um, by looking at this is the texture. There's a lot of texture on it. I think it is marketed as a control boot. So it's supposed to help your touch on the ball. Um, what I do notice without pulling out the other one, I can tell it's a little bit a smaller collar. Um, and it also has this little pull tab right here that helps you pull it on. The, the first ones were a little bit harder to try on um, or to get on. So definitely that might help a little bit. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I think the sole plate is the same as the first one. Um, so you got the grip stuff right here on the side. Uh, I'm glad they got away from that big triangle that was there because I felt like that was just unnecessary, didn't need it. Um, then So you have like a lot of texturing here and then a little bit here and then it goes less here but still has a something, a little bit something right there. But you really, you get the texturing in here. It's almost as if they wanted, you know, they were trying to help you know, your control with the inside of your foot, or maybe if you um, try to curve. So I can't wait to try these. I really can't wait to um, give these a test run. Uh, yeah. I want to do a play test on them just so I can get a feel for them before I wear them in a the game. Hopefully I can get to that. Um, but yeah, I, I think the lower collar is probably a um, good thing because it kind of looked like the first one should have just been, you know, a, a regular boot without the collar just tuck that in and it would have looked fine but because this element this doesn't really help anything other than maybe help with the the quad fit that's underneath so same basically the inside is, is the same as the first one so i don't know if it's going to feel that much different putting my foot in on my foot but it might help a little um a little bit when i'm playing it might feel a little bit different while i'm playing so of course Still has ACC, all conditions control, and then same thing, the coordinates. Basically, this is all the same pack. So it's gonna, they all have the same little um, details and stuff to it. Um, pretty nice colorway, I really like it. So now what I'm gonna do is um, show you guys what they look like on feet. And 
you see, and 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 this is what I, you know, I I'm a big sneaker head. I love my sneakers. I don't like them to have any blemishes. I don't like them to have anything wrong with them. And then when I see stuff, I don't know, stuff like that, or like the inside, the dirt, or whatever that is right there, those things bother me because I want a fresh new boot. That makes me feel like these were used or tried on and then returned. But, and then I can kind of see, I don't know if it's the glue going along the side of there. Um, so that tells me the durability of the shoe. I mean, I obviously I'm lucky enough to have multiple boots, so I can never really test a boot to its fullest and tell you how long it's going to last or how durable it lasts. And I'm not even hard on my boots to begin with, so I don't even know if I'd be able to tell you if a boot is going to, you know, withstand a season, two seasons, three seasons, anything like that. Um, but seeing the glue on the side kind of worries me, I would say, for it being, you know, a higher end boot that I wonder if it's gonna come off. And then, okay, so the bottom looks like that's the color it's you're gonna get. And then you get this color though. So that's a different color from there, which is, I don't know. I think they should have just kept it with this color or all with that color, but still it looks nice. It's, it's a good boot. We'll see if it's improved. Ah, let me just compare it to the other one real quick. Okay, <laughs> I did not plan this. I swear I did not plan this having the shirt this color. Um, so I don't know if you can really tell, but here we'll do this. Sorry, it's dirty, as you can see. I wore it, I think once, I got to wear it once. Um, but right away you can tell the difference. Uh, this is a little bit lower, this is higher. Um, the, same, the sh same shape of the boot, other than, and then the difference is gonna be the texturing that is up here more, comes all the way up to the front, the toe box area, and then kind of just fades away to the side. But I'm gonna try these on now and tell you how they feel. Maybe I'll put one on one foot and then kind of let you guys know what I think and see if they feel different. Cause I think that's the important thing because why would you upgrade to this if you already have this? So let's try them on and then I'll let you guys know my real thoughts. Okay, so I'm going to say that the new one is a little bit um, tighter on the, on the toe box area. So it's a little bit tighter fit, which I kind of like because obviously that'll get you closer to the ball. Um, but other than that, it's just a little bit tighter. I don't know, maybe it just needs to be broken into. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like the feel of the new one better. But is it enough to go out and buy the new one if you already have the first one? I don't think so. Not yet. Not yet anyway. Um, unless you really needed a new pair of boots, then I would stick with the old one. Or if you really just want the new color, the little bit extra features, which let's be real, probably really don't help a lot. <laughs> just a little bit, if, if any at all. Um, but yeah, so definitely... Um, it feels a little bit better. If you like like the Mercurial fit where it's tighter, this is definitely the way to go for you. But if you still like the little bit loose, a little bit roomier, I can't, it's not by much, but it's a little bit roomier, then I would stick with the one. But yeah, other than that, um, it feels nice, feels good. I can't wait to try it. All right, so that's my final take on the new uh, Phantom Vision 2 Elite. Um, I think I'm going to like these better than the ones, to be honest, now that I took them off and I think about it because I like the tighter fit. If you like that, that tight fit, these are the boots for you. Um, let's say you can't fit in the Mercurial. I think these might be better for you, suited for you if you have a wider foot, but they're still going to be tight. But I just like that. Um, maybe they'll widen out, stretch out a little bit with you know, some break-in time and they'll feel even better. But I like that tight fit right out of the box that you feel like, okay, I got to break these in. Um, but I don't think you'll have any problem breaking them in because the new boots don't require any breaking time at all, really. If we're being honest, you can just put them on and play, which is what I do. But these, I'm going to try to do a play test first before I um, take them on the field. And then hopefully I can play in them and then maybe do a, a, a 
a review after I've played in them and, and see what I really thought. But I really like the feel of what they did with the two. Um, the look is still a little bit crazy, but I like that because like I said, I'm a big sneaker head. So when you do um, different things like this to make the boot look different, I think, I think that's great. Um, but that's gonna end my video right here. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe again. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs subscribers. So I'm going to do a giveaway on a brand new pair of boots. Don't worry. We're going to be new and not from my collection. Get, get your size and everything. I just want to hit a thousand. I feel like that's a real big milestone, a really good milestone. And I, I think it's time that I try to reach for that goal. So that's what I'm going to be doing. If you're new, subscribe and you get a chance to win a free pair of uh, boots, high end, whatever you want. Um, so make sure you like, comment if you like this color. Well, what do you think of the Future Lab? Do you like it? Um, now you've seen the Temple, you've seen the Mercurial, and now you've seen the, the Phantom Vision, the Venom. It's okay, it's a good colorway too, but just, I have too many Venoms that I just don't wanna unbox them or, or have them in my collection. <laughs> So, so with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.